Welcome back. Super excited. And moving forward in this short lecture, I'm going to compare the old exam with the new exam, specifically focusing on the AWS Certified Data Analytics specialty. Formally, it was called the AWS Certified Big Data specialty. Now, I've already made a full course on the new AWS Solution Certified Architect Associate exam. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and browse through my profile and courses. And you'll be able to find this course, which is doing fairly pretty well. I'm super excited. Now, moving forward in this particular course, which is also a new exam, I'm going to be focusing specifically on the domains that are covered within, within this new exam, which is the AWS Certified Data Analytics. Now, notice the name change is from big data to analytics. So let's go ahead. Now, this exam will be available pretty soon in the next couple of months, but we are Going to prepare it's going to be a fairly large course i'm going to be covering extensively all of these services that relate to this particular exam so let's jump right in i'm going to compare the two exams together so you can see what was covered in the old domain knowledge areas versus the new domain knowledge areas so let's switch to my pdf here perfect so notice here i have two documents the top here is the new exam, which is the AWS Certified Data Analytics Specialty, DAS C01 exam guide. And on the bottom is the old exam. The reason why I'm doing this is because so you can really understand the differences between the old exam versus the new exam guide. So if you're already certified in the previous version, perfect. You will find lots of new tips and techniques. I'm going to be covering the latest tools, services by AWS. If you're new to this course, and if you're especially if you're a beginner, then I would certainly recommend going down to the section first where you can learn all of the AWS fundamentals of machine learning, of SageMaker, of Python, AWS recognition, and so on before you begin this course from the very beginning. Okay. So again, any questions, post in the discussion area, I'll be happy to answer. So let's take a look at the old one first. All right. So on the bottom one is the old one. Now, this exam, the old exam, validated simply three bullet points, right? And I'm going to compare it side by side. Whereas the new exam at the top validates the ability to find analytic services and understand how they integrate with each other and explain how AWS data analytics services fit in the data lifecycle of collection, storage, processing, and visualization. Okay? So the old examination simply wanted you to learn how to implement core big data services. Whereas in the new exam, you are going to be able to define the data analytics services. Okay. And of course, explain how these services fit into the actual life cycle. So here's the first big difference between the old exam versus the new exam on top. The recommended knowledge for the new examination is a minimum of five years of experience with common data analytics technologies. The reason why they extended or expanded or increased rather the experience is because the domain knowledge for the data analytics is much needed from a practical viewpoint. So you ought to have been working with databases, with big data, with queries, with SQL. So if you have all of this experience, that's wonderful. Whereas the old examination only required a minimum of two years of experience using AWS technology. Okay, so here's a difference of experience as the first recommended AWS knowledge. Other addition, what they've done here is they've added the AWS security best practices. Okay, and this is part of the old exam. Now in the new exam on the top, you'll notice that it does not require for you to really know the AWS security best practices. And once again, the reason here is because the security and best practices domain really falls into the solutions architect area perhaps, or the you know, developer associate or DevOps engineer, or SysOp rather, more importantly. But for the machine learning specialty, security best practices have been eliminated, okay? All right, so in the old exam, you ought to be able to independently define AWS architecture and services 
which is again pretty similar to the solutions architect, and understand how they integrate with each other. Whereas in the new exam, you simply need to have the experience and expertise working with AWS services to design, build, secure, and maintain analytics solutions. Once again, a little bit of touch of having the solution architect, although it is not a requirement. All right. So I'm going to scroll down to domain, and you can go through these resources. I will provide both of these documents as downloadable resource, so you can also take a look at both of them. So I'm going to scroll down to the actual domain knowledge, and let's compare the domain knowledge with the newer exam. There we go. Perfect. So once again, the top is the new exam, and that's what the course is all about, and the bottom one is the old examination. So right off the bat, you notice the five domains in the new exam versus the six domains in the old exam. And data security was the sixth domain in the old exam, whereas it is just security as domain five in the newer examination. The percentages are also listed. They pretty much are all similar. However, the storage and data management is 22% for the new exam. Processing is 24%, and analysis and visualization is 18%, and then security is also 18%. The old exam covered simply the machine learning processes, right? So you kind of see like collection, storage, processing, analysis, visualization, and then security. So this was pretty, you know, basics of machine learning in terms of the domain knowledge. Whereas in the newer examination, they're really going to test you on the actual not only the concepts, right, the architecture itself, but also the implementation of how storage and data management is conducted, right? How data is processed. And then analysis and visualization, what tools and services will you use? And of course, AWS come up with newer tools and services that I'm going to be covering extensively within this course. So these are the two domains. The top one is the newer, and that's exactly what we'll be covering from domain one to domain five. I hope this helped. If you have any questions regarding the pattern of the examination, feel free to reach out. I'll be happy to answer. My goal is to provide you the required knowledge, understanding, and hands-on for all of these five domain areas of the AWS Certified Specialty Exam, which is the newer exam. With this, let's move to the next lesson.